Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you about this wig that I'm wearing. It's the very first wig that I have made myself with a lace closure and I'm super excited to share all of the details with you, so stay tuned. This is not a full how-to tutorial, but I am going to show you the process that I went through to make the unit. But I promise I will make a full wig and show you the full process with the how-to tutorial coming very, very soon. Here are the materials that I used. I have a dome cap that I just bought from a local beauty supply for about two bucks. I have my weaving thread and also a curved weaving needle that I'm going to use for the process. Here is a close-up of the closure. The knots are not bleached, but I do like the color of it. It's going to blend in very well with my skin tone. And here's a close-up of one of the bundles. You can see that the weft is very well constructed and the hair is just really soft and has a really nice wave pattern. I'm going to begin by first placing the dome cap on my head and just kind of measuring where the lace closure falls. This is going to allow me to make sure I have enough space once I place the dome cap on my mannequin head. So I'm going to measure both sides in the back and then also place a mark by my ears which is going to be kind of like my marker of where I need to place each track. Okay, so remember this is like my very first time making my unit, so yeah, this is the most difficult part, which was placing the lace closure on, but once I got the hang of it, I basically just stitched it in and wrapped the thread around my needle um, two times just to make sure it was nice and secure. One thing I will recommend is not to wear nail polish because it kept chipping throughout the process and I was like dusting it off the hair, but anywho, just continue stitching it around and yeah, that's how I placed the lace closure on first. And here is how the lace closure looks once it has been stitched all the way around. Now it is time to stitch on the tracks. So what I'm going to do is if you remember those markers that I made at the very beginning, that's going to be my starting point to help me as a reference. So I'm just going to take the first track and I'm going to use stick pins to hold it in place to make sure that it stays nice and tight while I sew it onto the dome cap. As I stated at the beginning of the video, this is not a full tutorial. What I'm going to do is link two videos that I used as my reference. They were so helpful and so detailed and I know I can attribute the success of my first unit to their videos. Even though I made a few mistakes here and there, their videos really, really helped me to get this process down to where I fell in love with this unit. And make sure you go to my website, SumitraReed.com. I'm going to share some of the lessons learned with you all just so you don't make the same mistakes that I made when you make your unit I want to challenge you all to just try something new try something different have fun with it but if you have any questions I want you to leave those below for me and make sure you check the description box for the two videos that you can use that are going to be so helpful for you to make sure that you're successful so I sewed in all the tracks I just removed the fabric underneath the lace closure and then I just added a little bit of concealer to help it blend even more with my skin. And here is how it looks up against my skin tone and as you can see it does look very realistic. And to make sure that the wig fit nice and snug, I added an elastic band. That'll be included in the tutorials that I linked for you below. And then I also deep conditioned the unit. So after deep conditioning the unit and allowing it to air dry, I just added a few wand curls and here are the results. I am so in love with the hair that I received from Wow African. I definitely would recommend it. And I'm actually going to order some more hair so I can make another unit with probably a different curl or wave pattern. I'm just super excited that I was able to achieve this and be successful. Here are a few more pictures. And I have some great news for you. If you place an order with Wow African, you can use a coupon code SUMETRA, S-U-M-E-T-R-A, to receive additional discounts. If you have any 
questions. As always, leave those below. Thank you so much for your love and support. Love you guys. Bye.